I am truly delighted to represent the United States government today to celebrate this award of the grant to the University of Fiji. President Obama has called this century the Pacific Century. And under his leadership, the United States is building on its long relationship and friendship with the region. As part of the United States efforts to mitigate the effects, um, actually, sorry, I <laughs> back up a minute. The, uh, what I want to say is the American people are really truly value very, very highly the relationship with the Republic of Fiji, with the people of Fiji. And the initiative that we are here to celebrate today serves not only to further strengthen that relationship, but also to address the common challenge of global climate change. I just returned from Washington, D.C., where I attended a conference that was hosted by Secretary of State John Kerry for all U.S. ambassadors from around the globe. And we heard a lot at that conference about the priority that President Obama attaches to combating climate change. Secretary of State John Kerry also shares the President's passion for this priority, and he has called climate change the defining challenge of our generation. He has committed the United States to play a leading role in global efforts to address it. And as part of the United States' efforts to mitigate climate change, recently we made our formal submission to the UN framework Convention on Climate Change of our 2025 climate target. And that commitment is that we will reduce our net greenhouse gas emissions uh, to below, between 26 and 28 percent, below 2005 levels in the period between, um, by the year 2025. So we think that this goal is both uh, ambitious, but also that it is achievable. And this new target will roughly double the pace of carbon pollution reductions in the United States. And it puts the United States on a path to achieve 80% reductions by 2050. These reductions will be achieved by tightening carbon pollution standards for power plants in the United States, by increasing fuel economy standards for our vehicles, for our appliances, and for other equipment, and also by supporting the deployment of more clean energy technologies. In making our emissions reduction commitment, Secretary Kerry signaled our recognition that there is no way, though, as we have heard other speakers say, there is no way that the United States or any country in the world can possibly address climate change by themselves. Uh, President Obama has made the same point. In a speech he gave last year at Georgetown University, he stated that if our generation fails to meet the challenge of climate change boldly, swiftly, and together, we risk consigning future generations to irreversible catastrophe. The people of Fiji and other Pacific Island nations, as you know, are all too familiar with the effects of changing climate. And I know that over your over 330 islands have experienced the impact of rising sea levels, as you've heard other speakers mention, and the effects of ocean acidification, We've also seen the intensification of cyclones and storms, most recently with the very tragic uh, cyclone impact on Vanuatu and related storm effects on some of the other Pacific islands. We're very, very grateful that uh, Fiji uh, did not suffer the worst of the impact of this cyclone, but we also know that Fiji has borne the brunt of other storms and that uh, with the trends we have seen that there inevitably will be a time that a bad storm will again impact Fiji. These storms, of course, damage coral reefs. They uh, reduce the size of fish populations, and uh, those are among uh, many other negative impacts they have. And as you heard, I, I have also understand that a number of coastal communities in Fiji have had to relocate further inland due to the impact of coastal erosion. 
And so this is what really makes our cooperation on China, climate change so vital. In addition to the efforts I outlined a moment ago about steps the United States is taking to mitigate the impact of climate change, the United States government is committed to working with Fiji and our other Pacific partners to help vulnerable communities adapt to the effects of climate change. And this is exactly the purpose of our Pacific American Climate Fund, PACAM. It's, as you know, a grant-making facility. It's funded by the U.S. Agency for International Development with the purpose of assisting Pacific Island countries reducing long-term vulnerabilities. So today, with the launch of this project with the University of Fiji, we are taking scientific steps that will assist the Fijian government and the communities of Otua and Maui Bay to make informed decisions to develop strategies to deal with climate change. I'm very, very proud that the United States is partnering with the University of Fiji and the Pacific American Climate Fund. So with this support, um, as you've heard, and I think you're going to get a little bit more detailed explanation of the project, but uh, the project will map the coastal ecosystems of Otua and Maui Bay, where the coral reefs and coastal ecosystems um, are vulnerable to the effects of weather changes. And the maps will provide a baseline to measure change over time, to develop management plans uh, for preserving the ecosystems for the future. Launching this project today signifies our commitment to address global threats to climate change for the long-term well-being of communities in Fiji and ultimately for all of us. I look forward to continuing our partnership to strengthen sustainable, transparent, and equitable community development. Thank you very, very much for inviting me and my team from the U.S. Embassy to be part of this very important today, event today. Vanaka Vakalevu.